Make a note that Bunty isn't here because yeah. uh, <laughs> yeah. could you make a note about what time I'll go over to the lavatory and come back out. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> uh, welcome everyone um, and uh, we will have open forum. Uh, there will be a maximum period of 15 minutes in total for all members of the public to ask questions and put forward concern relating to item on the agenda. Do we have anything from public? No? No. Okay. Um, <coughs> item EA 016.24 to receive and ac accept any apologies for absence? No? No. Okay. EA 017.24 to receive any declaration of interest? Any? No? No. EA 018.24 to note any new dispensation granted? Any? No? no. Okay. EA 1019.24 minutes to confirm as a current record uh, the minutes of the meeting held on 7 February 2024 and confirm the agenda of the same day. Okay, Can we have a okay. few seconds? Okay. Sorry. 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 24, <coughs> play area on equipment to receive update on weekly inspection and out, out, outstanding item. Do we have any updates? Uh, the is it the fence that's been fixed? Yes. And the, great, the grids have been cleared. Um, and we, we have our usual weekly inspections by Nigel, and that's no. Yes, because those are, those are the things that arose on the inspection, yes. and they've been, they've been fixed. Yeah. But we now have permission for the um, in the county council. I think that we can spray weeds. They, yes, they said no because I know that's coming up later. But I'm just saying that that we um, we've now got permission to spray, so they will be sprayed. Okay. Yeah. Weeds, uh, yes, Anthony. Um, yes, it was agreed that I'd receive a copy of the. Um, uh, uh, play equipment reports. I did get them for a couple of months, but they've stopped coming again. Can I ask that they resume, please? That's my fault. Sorry, Anthony, I forgot to send it on to you. Okay, thank you. I will do. Yep. Okay, so it's, it's an action for me. So. Okay. Item EA 021.24 report from three councillors to receive the report. We have the report in the pack. Is there any question? Are you happy to take questions? I'm happy to take questions. Any updates on the PX farms? So, as of yesterday, when I spoke to Carla, they said it's just too wet. They will be moving it, it's just don't know when, when it dries out a little bit. To be honest, it did look like it would be difficult to manage in the current state. <laughs> okay. Item EA022.24, Village Ranger, to update on, uh, on Village Ranger Works. You have an update on your pack. Yeah. Is there any question? If not, we will move to the next item. Do we need a proposal for these, Connor? Um, I don't think it's because they're just updates, they're not like considerations or decisions or anything, they're just updates, so she and I should be fine. Okay, item EA 023.24, to survey, to consider a scope of three management survey and ma uh, map out location before asking for court. Madam Chair, could I ask that we suspend the meeting so we could hear from Mr. Pope? Yes, I will close the meeting and uh, I would request Marilyn to talk about this tech tree server. Uh, yeah, well, Please. I, I don't really know. I, I, I'm new to this just like everyone else here because I saw this thing, this item on the um, tree survey. Um, and so all I can do is give you my brief interpretation of what this means yeah. and the history of it, if you like. Uh, yeah. So would you like me to do that? Please, yeah. Right. Um, I don't know if, it, if you're all aware that there was 
uh, back in 1920 or 2021 rather, um, a Hayden's report that was done on this very subject. Is everyone aware of, of that fact? Yes. Everyone is aware of that. Okay. Um, so what, what I think is worth pointing out is they actually did a complete survey around the village of most of the trees that were, taken, that, that were growing at the time um, with the idea of actually thinking in terms of exactly what we're talking about now, tree management. Um, and I think it's worthwhile just reading out to you um, the, the summary that they sent, because you may not know this. Um, it, it actually states here, after they've done all the work, it said, concrete recommendations cannot be made as there are many unknown variables, i.e. distribution of soil types, the existence of persistence water deficits, and as such, it is recommended that information gathered from this report be used and utilised to inform the, the parish council with Hayden's advice as to which trees should be worked on. And just out of interest, they did a summary at the end of that, which again is quite interesting if ever you read it, which talks about management opportunities and things that could be done. If you actually go through this, they mentioned that up to 100 trees could be felled in the village. <clears throat> now, if we were to, if we, I say we, at the time I, I was working on the tree works generally, we did incorporate this in some of the work that we were doing in terms of actually the, the, the method that we were using when we did tree works on the village. And just again, to reiterate what we did, we used to do um, work associated with residence requests, number one. The general Hayden's report on tree works, that was the second thing. Insurance works was the third thing. And we did incorporate some of that at the time on risk management. So we did undertake some work of that, and that has been done every year. But we've not gone ahead at any time with a formal sit down with Hayden's to actually say, these are the trees we should do. And the very reason is it's very, very difficult. I'm giving you advice here now. It's very, very difficult to anticipate which trees will actually cause damage to property, which is the main concern we have. Um, so we could actually go out there and chop down 100 trees and it will be the other 100 that could cause the problem. It is just a fact of life that that happens to be the case. Insurance companies always point to the parish council and say that's the tree that's caused the problem and it's well known that doesn't stop you in any way shape or form doing exactly what you wish to do now in other words get someone in to talk about the risk management as far as trees are concerned um, i'm all in favor of that uh, i think it's a good move forward but what i would do if i were you and this is where i, I was talking to Warren about this, I disagreed slightly with what he was suggesting. I think you should have a blank sheet of paper. I think you should get these companies in, say to explain to them that we have a lot of trees on this village. We wish we also have a lot of issues with regard to residents' requests and so on and so forth. And we want some sort of plan of action that they may be able to bring forward to help this village manage the trees i think it's as simple as that to begin with rather than actually pinpointing particular trees and say that tree should go that should, tree should stay it's not as simple as that is is what is hayden's title are they a biocultural company they, they will do that yeah so is it that sort of company that we would you, you invite would, in uh, you, you if you were to google risk management of trees okay you will find no end of companies that will be willing to come in. So you're recommending that that's what we do? I think I think if you want to go down the route of trying to, to do that sort of thing, then you that is the way to do it. You could simply go to Hayden's and ask Hayden's again. But are they... Hayden's... Oh, sorry, Dan, what just, just to make the point. Hayden's would, would do a similar thing for you if you said... 
we want to sit down again and, and review the situation. Can you actually help us with this? Now, Hayden's did actually at the time also offer a certain particular service that again you may wish to take up. And that was to actually examine when you get an insurance claim that comes through. You could say to Hayden's, can you also investigate this? So what you do is you don't simply rely on what the insurance company tells you. Oh. You could actually ask them to look at the situation. And in fact, I could also find in here that there is a statement that was made by Hayden's that said, ideally, if a tree is suspected as having caused damage, the norm should be 12 months of monitoring to actually take that forward to actually confirm that it is that tree that is causing all of the damage but before any action is taken. But surely a house, a house owner who, who's got subsidence is not going to be happy with that. 12 months of monitoring, surely. No, they're not. But then, parish council is not very happy <coughs> with every time uh, there is subsidence that they point the finger yeah. at you and yeah. say straight away, that's a parish council tree. Yeah. Um, because... We don't know that those particular roots that are under there have caused the majority of the damage or not. Mm. I think it's important to note two points. The first one is any tree report we've requested in the past, any tree report requested in the future, will do what we ask it to. We have to remember this report was, was what was asked and Hayden's perform what was requested. If requirements of this council change, which I believe they have, to be more specific then obviously Raven's absolutely right to say you need to sit down and talk to them and explain what it is you want from the survey. I don't think, with respect, uh, I don't think you actually ne necessarily know what you want. I think what you do is you actually say to them, this is the situation within this village. We have a lot of trees. We want to keep as many of those trees as we can. What would you suggest that we do in terms of a management of those trees? And work down there. A lot of it is quite simple in the sense that if you've got trees out there on the village green, the chances are they're not going to cause any damage to anyone. They're so far away from their houses, you don't need to worry. Equally, if you've got areas that we have in the village, which are TPO areas, T preservation order areas, for those who don't know, mm -hmm. then we can't simply cut those trees down anyway. So we, we've got trees. Bunty will know and Sue will know. If you go off a spine path within the village, there's one up there that is, is a, a tree that has been cut down, I don't know how long ago. Or in the oak. Yeah. That was several years ago. Wasn't the it? oak was That's still. And, and we cut the oak down, but it's still under management that we must cut the hedge back on yeah. a regular basis. And we have to do it. Um, and also, it doesn't actually, actually affect the general role that you have within the village of residents' requests and so on and so forth, they will still go ahead just the same. Um, general maintenance of trees will go on just the same and you can do that with the existing contractors that you've got quite happily. But I, I would advise against using your existing contractors to actually do a report type thing. The reason being, I think it's better to have an independent who says you do this and then the contractors move in and do it. Are you suggesting then that we go out and get three quotes from um, look for this management of trees? I, I, I just would, get three quotes of companies. I, I would, I would think the way forward, if you if you wish to do this, <coughs> if you wish to do it, then I would, um, I would actually go out and get companies explain to those companies you would like to talk to them about this and with a view to what they can recommend or help you in this way you don't have to take them up on it you're not obliged to they're like all companies they're out to try and sell their business to you so if i were you i'd listen to them see what they have to say and then go from that if you find that they can't add in any way shape or form to what you already got you're not obliged to use them. I have to say that my concern about this is, is which I've said to Merlin, is that trees have fallen down, just fallen down without um, weather. And this is why 
My concern is that one is damaged defence, which we are, as a parish council, have to pay for. And this is my concern that damage to people, houses. And that's, why I would, the and that's why I would like to recommend or propose that we go to three companies for um, get them to come in and talk to us about risk mm. management. Please remember, the chance of a tree killing anyone is absolutely almost non-existent. The chance. But falling on the property, we had one in Acorn Avenue. And oh, but he doesn't move out the but way. But that was, that was in, that was in, you were having conditions then whereby the, the wind brought down trees that were never expected to come in. You couldn't legislate for that. And no, remember, no company is ever going to give you a guarantee no, I know. that that particular, if they gave you advice on a tree, it would be advice subject to, and they would never ever turn around and say, oh, that tree is safe. That's why I was saying to you, Warren, where you put down that tree, a safe tree. There is, there's no such thing. If the wind blows and that tree comes down, you can't then point the finger at the contractor and say, you told us that. They would never give you that guarantee. I think we have, a, as a parish council, we have a responsibility because we have so many trees. I agree. Get somebody. But I think we also need to identify the main points of, firstly, what we want to inform them of, which obviously is the risks we have for the village, concerns over insurance and claims, and concerns over falling trees. And as Melvin said, and I will concede the point, we also need to listen to what they think is the best way to manage it. Yeah, I think, I think that's what you need to do now, is listen to them. If they, if they can't come up with anything that you particularly want, then don't use them. You, you will still do the general works that you're doing now in, in exactly the same way, residence requests, what you think is routine works on trees that is very, very obvious. I mean, I've been doing it for six years or something like that. You've got good contractors. They will come in on a regular basis and they would do the regular work that you require without any reference to anyone else. They'll, they know what, what needs doing as well as anyone else needs doing. Um, and, and you can still do all of that, but you're looking for something a bit, bit fine-tuning now if you can. Mm. Uh, I will propose that. Okay. Thank you so um, much for, second. for your comments. Uh, no worries. Thank you. I will open the, my meeting and uh, uh, you second the. Uh, Thank you for proposing. Okay. I don't know if anybody else wants to come in. No, no, I think that's fine. Everyone happy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Can we reopen the meeting? Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Barbara. Item EA 024.24, new bins to consider buying new bins. We have a... Is this the one for the front of the parish council office, or is this a different location? It's, I think it's, it's the one just up off. It's on the path then towards the post office. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was the courtyard, but we can do that next time. Courtyard? Oh, yeah. Well, I would call it the courtyard. It's where our the central the signs are. Just over there. We have a plastic one that's tied there. Been there. Some people. It's not out there already, but it's not needed down here. So it just depends where these things out of the bin. I could put another gender. It's not important. That important. Just look. That plastic one doesn't look very nice. Yeah. So just decide where. What do you think? Sorry, can the uh, can the ranger not fix that bin round there? Then is is it because I keep putting it back and slotting it back and I'll well, talk to him. I don't know. Well, need a new bin. No. I'm rich. We've got a newish bin there. It was just needs to anchor in there. Better. You need to be new tank. It's ready, Graham. Come on the pathway from here. To the, the store. Just go to the store. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Come on, slot it. Just slot it up. I keep slotting. Yeah. There, there. It can, somebody keeps yes yeah, it's just a, a prank that's all but uh, if you make it any more difficult that's the one they prefer because they can come around empty it and all this sort of thing but it's shall we see if the ranger can fix it and uh, yeah make it more rigid can we defer this to the next meeting then yeah, well, we'll talk to them. That, that, that bin isn't all that old, and £201 from the new one. Why are we talking about? Because it was you that said about bins, wasn't it? You asked me to put the bins on. Yeah, um, we were talking about bins on 
for the other meeting about the amount of bins that we've got is too many. When you think we've got two or three bins, and we thought that they emptied the dog waste and the normal bins separately, but yeah, they don't. Right. They empty them all together now. Yeah. So what's the point of having two or three bins together? We might just as well have one bin, and that's it. But two bins get filled up in the mm. summer. Yeah. Two bins get, even though they're next mm. to each other, get filled up. Yeah, but not not all around the village. You've got, no, someone, you've got two. Over, one into Clare. Yeah, well, that's different areas. Post office. You know, and they do get filled mm. up in the summer. We have an audit list of our, our bins. We've got them on the map somewhere. In the summer, it may be a good idea if um, councillors were asked to check their areas to see how well the bins are being used and then report back. Well, councillors should be checking their areas anyway. We've all got areas. We said no, but I'm not specifically checking. I mean, I, I check to see the bins on the wall, but I'm not going to check to see how full it is, if I'm being honest. <laughs> so for this item, we will ask Lander to fix the bin. See if he could mm. fix it. Um, yeah. Okay. Do we need a photo second or photo uh, Yeah, I'll put those down. I'll second. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Everyone happy? Thank yeah. you. Item EA025.34, Estate for Working Party Term of Reference. Consider the updated Term of Reference. We have the Term of Reference in our bag. I trust everyone's read it before the meeting. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Can we... It's, it's good it's now numbered. It's really helpful. That is delightful. Yeah. I think with all our policies in future should be numbered. That's much better. Yeah, getting the bullet points. Yeah. So everyone happy with this one? Mm -hmm. This is what, uh, so if this is okay and it, it's agreed, I can go ahead and then get this done and get this out to I'll propose. people that want to join the state park. I'll propose. Uh, how many applicants do we have? There's a three or four that I've had off the top of my head. Okay. So yeah, so once, if everyone's happy then I can get that done. Uh, you propose, yep. yeah? Who seconded? Brian. Everyone happy? Thank you. Thank you. Item EA 026.24 flooding, flooding, flooding of part of the village drain to consider investigation of drainage. Um, I'm just wondering if this should go on the main agenda, council agenda because it's going to be money that we need to pay out. Uh, a few years ago, we had in the horseshoe, we had a company that came along and investigated what was in the horseshoe and the problems we had with the I don't know if it's still me. I recall it. I, I wasn't, uh, I did go for my divining rods and found where it was for you. Um. And, uh, they found the drain was broken and the Cambridge water came in and fixed it because it was their drain. <coughs> So on the other side of the horseshoe, with all this rain we had, it's happened again. And, and what we're suspicious of is that we've got another drain that's broken. Could I suggest then, that rather than just put it over to the one, let the clerk investigate quotes, and then if she gets them in time for the main meeting, great. If she doesn't, then it will be deferred until she's got the quotes. The only, the only thing I'm thinking of, Anthony, is the fact that the company that came in knows what... Dynarod, was no, it? No, 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 no. It's a big company that came in to Who investigate. Um, we, I've sent I've the details to the I've got the details. And, um, well, well, should we, we take it to the main meeting? Well, we, could just send to get, we could just send to get a quote from the main, that company, I suppose. If they would come in, in and, yeah, yes. yeah, they'd come in and investigate. They so need to spend any money. It just it speeds things up a bit that way. Can I, can I propose that? Yeah. Would you want to do the horseshoe as well? Because that still started flooding there as well. Again. Yes, but it wasn't as it wasn't. He really used the swimming pool on there. Mm. Oh, oh yeah, that's cool. <laughs> it's just bad drainage, not <laughs> leakage. Who oh. seconded? We called it. Like, we haven't had one yet. Well, yeah. I called it like Bar Hill. You've already got one of them. Hmm? The odd wildebeest comes round at night. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, item E A C O two seven point two four. Big management by Cambridge County Council to consider the letter and question. Mm -hmm. We have the letter and question. 
So what do you think, Councillor? Good news, I'm basically. Mm -hmm. So are we requesting a one-off on this? This has to be in by the 15th of March, so we do need a, to decide this evening what. Well, I dislike green tellers, but it's necessary in this instance, so I, I would propose it on that basis. Could I, could I ask that this document be given to the ranger as well? Yeah. That he can Come on, Joe, do you want to second something? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just leaving you off. Fair enough. Did you want to propose in a second to put this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah right. And Joe Hall said that. Anthony, for a point. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, <laughs> Anthony, 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 Joe Hall. They're fighting over his name. You can have it if you want it, Bunty. <laughs> no, 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 Joe wants it. Thank you. My interest is done. The A028.24, Management of Nature Reserve, constantly applying for funding for the College Survey. Was this addressed to you as South Cams or as. Yeah, because yeah, it did, but as I said, did at the top, so I was a bit confused whether this from South Cams or from it's South Cams, okay. Yeah, um, I was at, I was at a UK thing and um, I talked to this Orla Gibbons about this and um, she, she thinks it might be worth us, because I asked about the nature reserve, and it might be worth us applying for a grant um, to, for them to look at our nature reserve, because none of us look at it, none of us have done anything. We've just left it to do its own thing, which is fine. Well, we have in the past. Yes, we did. We've, we've done quite a lot of work at one point. Yeah, with when, when we had the Conservatives, yeah. And but they, down. when I talked to them, they didn't know about Conservatives or anything. Really? So, no, no. And of course, we put the uh, weird thing in. Yeah. Those ones, didn't we? Yeah, we put that we weird put in. We poles. I know, but it's all the that all all sort of yeah. yeah. I, I know you wanted to do something about wildflowers, but wasn't there some kind of bizarre thing that requires so much paperwork to do wildflowers? But um, I'm just proposing that we we accept the or go for the mm. ask the clerk to go for this grant and get them to come out and just yeah. have a look yeah. at yeah. the nature. Yeah. 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 Everyone happy? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay. So second. Yeah. Thank you. Item EA 029.24, litter picking to cancel a litter pick in the village. Yes. I don't know how you can say that. It's no. really Absolutely. Cool. Yes, but we have had terrible winds. Well, I mean, I don't care if people just don't throw put the stuff in the, in the first place. I mean, great okay, things well, are left in the bushes. And, well, it's mainly Tesco. You know, cereal boxes and, you know. Well, you know. Yeah, yeah. All around by Glades, I've never been looking around my Yes, area. but isn't that Tesco's? Well, yeah, but we, that's who we have to approach. You know, why um, should we litter pick their mucky things? Well. Still part of the village. I know what it says. Oh yes. You know, it does look awful, We need to write to them again to tell them. Yeah. We want them to litter pick their car. I think it's getting worse. Chair, could I just ask Clark to yeah. read the letter or oh. the gist of the letter we received from the chief exec about our um, person who had a yes. um, was run over by a car. No, oh. no, I'm sorry, but you've got the gist of it. The gist of it. So they are. So in terms of what they're doing. What they've done. What, what they've done. So done. they've installed lights on the crossing, on the flashy on the bits mm -hmm. on top of the crossing. Where the, uh, the ones at the, the top? On the I know. It's no, but are they red? red? They, they flash. No, they've got red bars. Have they got red? Yeah, they've got two white lights with one gallon. Yeah, they've got lights. Oh, they put lights oh, on and yeah. the beacon lights. And they've also, looking at cutting the hedges back, as well, so they're quoting for works to get done currently. So he's going to come back to me when he knows so specific dates. Is um is Joe Hall asking that we write to him again and say clear your yeah. blank blank hedges out? Mm. 
Is that what you're asking? Put the cherry on top. I mean, I, I can talk to the Tesco's manager, and if if that's easier, because it takes a while to get a response sometimes from Tesco's, or I can go straight to the, my contact out to Tesco's. Tesco's do or should be periodically picking all of their land of rubbish, including in between the trees and bushes, what have you. And so is it better to clarify with them if they're doing it, when they do they it? Do it they do it by the bus stop, around there, because yeah. I've seen yeah. the man over there. That bus stop okay. is all open to the, to the wind and rain, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, but it's unbelievable that I know, bus stop. I know, people have complained to Tesco's. Oh, yeah. But they've got a temporary manager in there, I understand, at the moment. Right. So he's not going to do anything. Mm -hmm. So you're best to go to the top. I'll go to the, right. I'll go to who I went to before. And say I'll run over a resident, <laughs> and she's still alive. <laughs> the lady who ran me over. The bushes have taken over half the path as well, haven't they? Way side. Mm. Yes, that's, that's another bad. thing. Follow that. Yeah, they don't. About that. About um, what to mean? The way side. Um, the Tesco bushes. Uh, um, yes, I was and as you can remember, the bend at side, there's a great big puddle on the ground, and they never go because um, great big puddle. But the problem is that pathway for people who walk up there on great side is partially sighted, or if you know sight, they are finding it a great problem. Mm. Understandable. Mm. It's very uneven as well. I think the guy yeah. just gets really likes me, so. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> so are you proposing that? Yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> I think so, yeah. Joe Hall and Bunting. So can we get back to the original litter picking item? Why are you worried about that? I nearly got run over. Oh, of course oh, I, I did. I did get run over. Of course I am very concerned about that and very happy that you were not run over. <laughs> um, to the point where you were significantly injured. Have but, you got uh, a recommendation then for a litter pick? Yes, um, I'd like to set a spring date. That's all I want to do is to set a date and invite residents to come and litter pick. I spent all that time making the litter picking policy and all that time getting it in F and P so it would be ready for E and A. So um, yes, we and I do understand we do have other litter picking that comes in through other village organisations. I'm very grateful for that. But villagers often ask when is the next litter pick. So I see no reason not to hold one of our own um, and act accordingly. It would have to be a, a morning one. And it would have to be not a school holiday, preferably at a weekend, of which I'm happy to volunteer. Do you recommend any a specific date? Let's say last Saturday of April. What does everyone think of that? Or did you want to no with the Bio News? Make it last Saturday of May then, because the Bio News to get everything in time. Would that work out right? Yes. Last Saturday of May? Mm -hmm. Just let you know about the litter picking in the process of um, costing for uh, longer litter pickers because um, Mervyn cleared the um, ditch um, and hit Hillcrest, not personally but the team, and um, it's difficult to pick the rubbish out the bottom without a longer litter picker. Do you think we could get, will you request that for an item on agenda for the April meeting so we can have them for the end of May? Do you think? Hopefully we get them. Earlier than that. Oh great, smashing. But as long as it's in the current type of the time frame, yeah. great. How much time? It depends. I've got a book of cars, but uh, the company we got them from was £42 each, 50 each in length. Mm. And um, another company, about £17, £18 with VAT, a bit more. But, uh, you have to be a company time. before you can purchase from them. Mm. But there's other companies offering me a discount, so I'm going to go on to them and find out how much. Okay. Could I ask Bunty's district council to obtain some more rubbish bags for the litter from the village? Yeah, no problem. Thank you very much. Do we South Downs have any local that we can have? I don't know. I don't know. Well, I was going to have a chat with Bunty uh, afterwards. Um, what we yeah. have got, okay. Chair, what we have got, we've got the round things that people can put Oops. on a bag. Mm -hmm. Which is much more comfy than your litter pick. So um, we've got those in right. the Anthony. Yes. Out of interest, I've just checked that's a bank holiday. Is it? Weekend, yeah. Okay then, maybe not. Maybe the first <laughs> week, Saturday of June then. How Sorry. <laughs> first Saturday of June. People might be. Yes, that's understandable. <laughs> Sorry about that, but yeah, I don't know that was a bank holiday. Actually, I should have known that because it's near my bird. Um, yeah, that would make sense.
Okay, do you propose that? Yes, I propose that. Second that? Brian. 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 Okay. And uh, shall we say 11 a.m.? And you've got that date for your. Yep, yeah, so there we go. Yeah. I'll... Do we? Probably okay. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. <laughs> okay. Anthony, you've got to be here at 10. I won't be here before 10 because yeah, I. Yeah, the risk assessments. Yes, I know. And yeah. everything to give out to the people. So I have to be here at 10 and they're at there at 11. Okay. 11 a.m. start time. Sorry, my apologies. I'm going to be there at 10. What, what, can I ask why we're not starting at 10 if Anthony's got to be here? I don't know. Wow. Well, because. What? Because, I'm going to choose them. Because. Oh, how many times have I got to be these times? Yeah. Right, what time is it? Because if people could. If, let's, let's get people along to do it. I mean, I'll probably have a cricket match that afternoon and have to go. So I'd prefer to go get my bit okay. done and. Um, Put it back to 10. I'll be there for 9.30. Right, that's that. okay. That should be more than enough to do 30 minutes required to do the paperwork. Yeah. Just sign a couple of forms. Right, I'm just going to put 10 a.m. because that's when the public needs yeah. to know. They yeah. don't need yeah. to know the morning yeah. 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 On the first yeah. Saturday in June. Lovely. Yes. Good. Finally. Good. Thank you. Item E A 0.24 exclusion of press on public. Okay. Okay. 